prove that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Let's suppose there are finitely many prime numbers. Uh, let's list them from the smallest to the greatest. Let's start with P1, P2, P3, all the way up to the greatest prime number. Uh, let's call it P of R. Now this sequence includes every single prime number there is. So any other integer greater than 1 and not in this sequence is a composite number. Well, let's look at one special composite number. n equals p1 times p2 times p3 times everything else up to p of r. So n is a product of all the prime numbers. And every single prime number is a factor of n. How about n plus 1? Let's look at n plus 1. Now n plus 1 is also a composite number because clearly it's greater than p of r. Being a composite number, it has to have at least one prime factor. Let's say the prime factor is pi. pi is somewhere in this sequence of prime numbers. Let's say pi is here. pi is a factor of n plus 1. Since every prime number is a factor of n, pi is also a factor of n. Now if pi is a factor of both n plus 1 and n, then it has to be a factor of n plus 1 minus n, the difference between these two numbers. So n plus 1 minus n, that's 1, isn't it? So pi is a factor of 1. But pi is greater than 1. It's a prime number, so it has to be greater than 1. It cannot be a factor of 1. So there's our contradiction. This cannot happen. Therefore, we cannot assume that there are finitely many prime numbers. And we've proved that there are infinitely many primes.